Himete no Gao. This is the creators of this anime attempt to make a rom-com harem hentai-ish anime. And thanks to that, they failed miserably in all aspects when it comes to plot and story. However, this anime's sole purpose of existence is to grab the attention of those horny teens. In that case, this anime fits right into this list if you ask me. With spring right around the corner, all the students' hormones and guys go into overdrive mode with couples left and right. The desperate virgin MC, which is also half the watchers of this anime, is trying to do all that is in his power to find a girlfriend after being teased and ridiculed by his friends, only to confess to the busty Yukana Yame, a student in his school, that, well, let's just say she's definitely energetic. The anime offers a lot of scenes locked in the MC fantasy of having s with his harem entourage in weird places and circumstances, to say the least. Speaking of which, one redeeming factor about the bland entourage harem characters is their freaking massive watermelon-sized opai. Other than that, they're as bland as they come. And of course, no need to forget about all the harem cliches since apparently the directors didn't forget and added a plethora of them. Princess Lover This anime is censored. How is it on this list? This is where you're mistaken, my dear friends. This anime has both versions released, with the uncensored one being more elusive than the censored one. It's a bit harder to find. Doesn't negate the fact that it is there, though, with all the edgy scenes and chances to see the princess nude. I guess this is more than enough motivation for you guys to try finding the uncensored edition. And if that wasn't enough for some of you, I'll tell you a secret. An adult-rated version of OVA exists, and its literal hentai is nothing filtered or hidden at all. Boku wa tomodachi kasukunai. Hmm, wait, what? He has blonde hair and an intimidating expression? Oh crap, he's a violent delinquent? Stay away from him. That's what happened to the newly transferred Kodaka Hasegawa in his new school. And just like that, he became the most shunned out student there is. A month passes and he meets another loner by the name of Yozora. Together, create a club for outcasts like them to learn how to form friendships and such. One thing they miss though, the Erege Sena, and how she will flip their lives upside down. This is an uncensored anime, with a lot of panties, naked girls, either on beach or bathtubs, and a lot of boobs, like hell a lot. Mayo Chiki. So, your mom and sister? Love wrestling moves, huh? Guess that's fine. Not like it'll give you lots of scars and traumatize you for life when you're around girls, right? Right? Shit. This poor guy, thanks to his sibling and mother, has now a sturdy body, but at the cost of him fearing women and girls. He literally bleeds fountains from his nose just because a girl touched him. And by accident, that is this guy so hopeless and hilarious you can almost feel bad to all that he's put through. Or maybe not, who cares anyway? Horny time is boobs time. Cross Ange. <laughs> oh god, talk about Poetic Justice XD. In this anime, a power called Mana exists, and with this wielder is able to use it and some not so much called the Norma. These Norma are shunned, hated, persecuted, and treated as outcasts, with the cruel princess being the most one encouraging that policy. However, on her 16th birthday, there was no celebration or balloons. She was sent off to the military and stripped of her royal title for one reason. The one persecuting Normas all this time went out to be one of them as well, XD. She shipped off to the military, where she is <clears throat> raped, and taught to ride the Gundams to fight the dragons. Well, the enemies in this world are called dragons, but they're not actually dragons, they are dragons, quote unquote. This anime has a lot of Yuri scenes, enough to satisfy the horniest guy alive, and with the nature of the show being an uncensored edgy, everyone is guaranteed to have a nice time watching it. Just do me and yourself. Conception. Hearing your cousin tell you that she's pregnant on your graduation day makes you rather confused as to how you should be reacting to this unexpected news. But Conception has a totally different concept planned out for viewers, since getting transported into a totally different world was the least of Yatsuki's expectations when he signed up for the show. Declared to be someone similar to the god in a place like this, Itsuki must be the savior of this godforsaken land, and in order to do so, he must use a trick in the book not many characters are brazen enough to even have a glimpse of. Star children and impurities, making you question what's right and what's wrong in an anime where nothing normal is happening anywhere. Conception might be a title whose rating speaks for itself, and in case you're wondering if we're another one of those mal worshippers, then go ahead and see for yourself what this unique piece of art has to offer.